morning everybody this is c7 the hoa homesteader and today i'm going to give you guys a little garden update i hope everybody out there is doing doing good you guys know i had a little scare last week with my bees but everything seems to be under control actually i went out there this morning and gave them my the last dose of uh mineral oil fogger treatment for veramites and uh seemed to be well uh i was a little nervous I put on all my gear, just the uh, spraying with the uh, mineral oil. Usually I don't even do that, but after what happened last week, you know I was gonna gear up. So gotta build that uh, other confidence back, but yet don't slack in uh, protecting myself. All right, guys, let's start right here on the patio. Now, this once again was a, uh, a mango that I grew from seed. I went out of town several months ago. It wasn't taken care of while I was gone. Lost all its leaves. But however, since the stem or whatever has not turned brown and looked like it's dying, I still continue to fertilize it and feed it and maybe it'll come back. This is my avocado. And I think it's getting close to where I can uh, plant it in the ground. Another tree that I grew from seed. Over here, mango that I got from my neighbor it was doing well, but it looked like it's dying. All these three were from my neighbors. Maybe this year he'll let me do an air layer on this tree. This over here, people, is part of the moon glow pear tree. And when I um, received that from Ison's nursery, uh, this little branch was starting to fall off. So I I uh, prepped it and uh, cleaned the bottom and exposed the uh, cambium layer and put some uh, root home on around it and uh, buried it. And if you can look closely, look at that. It's budding. So looks like I might have a successful cutting off of that. All right, let's take it outside. Okay. Here's the best. Once again, the collard greens that I'm trying desperately to wait to, to go to seed, but they're not doing so. So I'm going to need to start prepping this bed for the uh, spring and summer crops. Uh, looks like the broccoli is growing where it might grow for the seed. Some more collard greens, same thing. And then these cabbages. I think I'm going to harvest them today because they don't seem to be getting any bigger. So I'm taking those out. And this is my um, passion fruit that I didn't think the uh, that freeze got to, but it was like a delayed effect. So a few days later after the freeze was when the leaves and stuff start falling and I see some of the stems look dried out. I clipped some of them uh, last week already. And maybe I have to go back and uh, prune them down some more then over here is my pomegranates doing it seem to be doing okay was well, starting to turn you a little bit but hit them with a lot of firm fertilizer this is the uh, parfianca that I got in the mail from Ison's nurseries and as you see look at that it's already starting to bloom. So good job there. Just a couple of strawberries. I can have the animals get to them before I do. Tested the cabbage in the bucket. It didn't grow big. Carrots down there that I'm gonna harvest today. Look real close. See? I think I'm gonna take those out today. We got this year I'm trying to grow large tomatoes and small tomatoes. So these are large. These two are small. Cherry. Of course my scallions, my fresh onions, or whatever you might guys might call them. Then I also bought uh, some topsoil yesterday and some um, black towel manure and some potting mix. So I can get started, stuff started to start dropping seeds. That was my blackberry from last year. I was still hoping that it might recover. But while I was out yesterday, I bought two more 
and, and this time I'm putting them straight in the ground. I'm out here, guys. And trees, once again, the moon glow that I bought from Isis Nursery. And look at that. It's budding too. It's starting to bud. And here's Citrus City. Lemons with buds on them. I don't know if that's uh, any significant. It seems like every time I give it a good dose of uh, Alaska 511, it produces some flowering buds. And then a little orange tree, plenty of blood, buds all over it. I know in that lemon, I actually see two little small lemons trying to grow. But I don't think they're gonna last. Yeah. And last but not least, the grapefruit tree. And that is it. This had some buds on it too. Since I already took my gear off, but off in the distance is the beehive. So I treated them with that mineral and smoked them with it. I removed my uh, interest reducer too. So it's not going to get freezing no more down here, I don't believe. So uh, they had they had that thing stuck in there with propolis and I had to yank on and yank on it, which stirred them up a little bit. Then I shot them with the with the mineral oil. So. Was, uh, about two of them tried to follow me back to the house. That wasn't bad. Okay, folks, that's it. So with that said, you have been with C7, the HOA homesteader. I thank you guys for visiting my channel. And as always, just because you may live in the HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food or take care of bees. Have a great one, and I'll see you guys when I release my next video.